Yo, what's going on YouTube? And welcome to the ultimate guide to sniping in Warzone. In today's video, we're going to go over snipers, sniper supports, we're going to go over settings, and so much more. So kick back, relax, guys. Make sure to go down below, drop a big booty like and comment, and let's get into the video. All right, so obviously, before we load into any Warzone games, we're going to have to pick a sniper. And there's a lot of different snipers to choose. So if you guys haven't been doing this for a while, it's definitely going to be kind of confusing. One thing you need to know about sniping in Warzone 3 is that not every single sniper that should be is a one shot. And when I say one shot, I mean that you're able to knock these guys at full plates. There is no reason that a 50 caliber sniper rifle cannot do this. Make it make sense, Call of Duty. Come on now. But anyway, guys, at this very moment, I have three go-to snipers. And the reason I say go-to is because they're reliable and consistent. For example, this MCPR. Now, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you know I just did a video on every one-shot sniper. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to be solely using this MCPR 300. And for good reason. As of right now, between this MCPR and the FJX that I uploaded the other day, all the other snipers, they just, uh, they feel meh. They don't do it for me, man. So like I said, I'm going to be using this MCPR. PR 300 build right here and i'm gonna show you why so when warzone 2 first dropped they made it very clear that they did not want one shot snipers in the game and we as a community gave them so much pushback that they finally did it you know two and a half seasons later but it came at a cost warzone 2 made it where you have to run these explosive rounds which makes absolutely no sense because why would my sniper round have to you know explode in your skull for you to get knocked anyway so these things absolutely chalk your bullet velocity it actually cuts it in half but if you guys do want a one-shot sniper then you have to run these i guess which forces us to trade the aim down sight speed builds for the bullet velocity builds and what i have right here is pretty much the best of both worlds I have every ads attachment that i I could get and then with the 22 inch barrel i add a little bit of bullet velocity back into the mix but if you guys watch my gameplay you're gonna have to get a lot of play time to really start to pick up on the bullet drop because at 50 meters it's about hit scan now you push out around 65 to 80 meters and you're gonna really have to start leading your shots but once you get that muscle memory down and you start hitting your shots man you're gonna cook Damn. Shot, he's insane. All right, so as you guys just saw, the sniper that you're running isn't the only part to becoming a good Warzone 3 sniper. You're also gonna need a pretty dope sniper support. And don't you worry, because I got the best in the game. So don't get me wrong, wiping a squad with four well-placed headshots is awesome. But for all the other times that you're not doing all that, you're gonna need some gun skill to go with it. Now, granted, this guide is definitely more tailored towards aggressive snipers. It still applies to all the different sniping play styles there are. So if you're that passive snipe at range kind of guy, you're gonna have a much slower sniper sniper so you're gonna need an smg but if you're an aggressive sniper like myself then go ahead and equip this boomstick this is the lockwood 680 shotgun not only is it the fastest mobility loadout in the game this thing slaps and since everybody in the mother likes to hold hands on this game right now this is probably your best bet at having fun but like i was saying before if you're an smg kind of guy i got that for you as well this is the iso 9 millimeter yes it is a modern warfare 2 gun but uh i don't care do not care i want mobility and i want to get you down too many of these players are holding each other's pockets and all four corners of any building i push into so if i'm gonna use an mw2 gun i'm gonna use an mw2 gun and hey while we're on the topic of four stacking this clip right here this has gotta stop guys i am so tired of going up against the off-brand navy seal teams yeah, dude Challenge. There's one shot. There's one bullet. yo this kid is a weirdo i'm not weird bro. why they're for y'all bro He's chill 
Oh, you got Come it. Come on, shit. He ran outside. He's outside. He on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right. Trip. Oh, what the f now, as far as sniper supports go, here's a couple other ones that I have been running. But honestly, it's all based off of your personal play style. I mean, if you guys want to run an AR as a secondary, by all means. But again, this guy's a little bit more tailored towards somebody whose play style is just like mine. All right, so now, in my opinion, we're about to get into the boring stuff. Now, again, I am on mouse and keyboard, guys, but I'm also going to go over all the graphic settings and all that stuff that I use. So if you're a controller player, hang around. You could use this stuff. But for my mouse and keyboard players, I am going to go over my keybinds. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to do the graphic settings because it does play a major role with sniping in Warzone. Because for the most part, you're aiming at people that are far away. So you're going to want to be able to see what, you know, you're aiming at. So for the display mode, I'm running full screen borderless. This saves a ton of energy on my PC because I'm always tabbing out. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Although for some reason, Warzone 3 is extremely dark. So I went ahead and I turned up brightness to about 54. Again, personal preference. Nvidia reflex, a little latency on plus boost. Eco mode pre set custom v-sync off off unlimited for the frame rate focus mode zero and then hdr of course off all right let's get funky with it for the upscaling and sharpening i have fidelity fx cast and for the fidelity cast strength i have it turned all the way up to 100 but some people like to run it around 85 to 90 to save you know their pc this fidelity could be a little taxing but uh a lot of people have been running the video dlss because they're losing frames but dlss does add a ton of mouse and key input delay and by ton i mean 0.8 milliseconds or smaller or something but enough to really notice for ray tracing and all that stuff i have it off now for texture resolution i am on a dual pc setup and i also went back down to 1080p 240 hertz so i put it up to normal and if i'm feeling frisky i put it up to high but for the most part a lot of you guys are going to be on a single pc setup so go ahead and run it on low regardless the texture resolution really isn't going to make a difference the texture filter anisotropics really where you're going to see your graphics be more defined so go ahead and run it on high because it really doesn't change much on your vram guys now this is huge make sure you have depth of field off there's absolutely no reason to be running this this i changed for a thumbnail i'm gonna put it back down to normal particle resolution low bullet impacts on so you can see your tracing off high because you want to actually enjoy the camos that you grinded for on demand texture streaming off low low off 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 low save your frames bada bing bada boom baby now for the view tab for the field of view guys i run 120 i love the way it looks it is what it is some people run 115 i prefer 120 ads field of view please don't be that guy that's running independent everybody's gonna know they'll probably make fun of you i'll probably make fun of you still love you but it's just not the way to go so double check that your fov is unaffected your weapon fov make sure to have this on wide because nobody wants to see a massive sniper taking up your entire monitor same thing while you're driving vehicles and much like the fov make sure your world motion blur and weapon motion blur are off guys like i said everybody's gonna crack jokes don't be that guy now these are pretty cool because not a lot of people know about them this is first person camera movement so when something blows up or a kill streak or whatever make sure you have it on least both of these actually and then these are completely up to you now for inverted flashbang i turn it off because every Every time somebody threw a stun or a flashbang and the whole screen went black i thought my pc crashed all right so if you're a controller player you probably don't care about the rest of this video so hey i hope you guys enjoyed and if you can make sure to go down below drop a big booty like and comment it means the world to me but for all my mouse and keyboard players let's get into it for my dpi guys i have it at 1600 followed by mouse sensitivity at three my ads sensitivity multiplier at 0.85 again guys you're gonna want to be able to have that good gun skill me personally i am now an arm aimer but for all you wrist aimers out there i know tracing can be difficult so you know try to slow it down a little bit see what happens now modern warfare 3 is kind of weird i swapped up from sensitivity type to legacy and then under mouse calibration we go ahead and apply these settings and it feels better hey if you guys don't believe me that's fine but go ahead and give it a try and let me know how you feel about it in the comments now for my keybinds pretty much everything's default except for these my crouch and slide is on my mouse button and then for my sprint tactical sprint and focus i have it on my top mouse button this helps a lot with snaking dolphin diving and then going immediately back into a tack sprint parachute of course space you know blah 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 for my movement advanced keybinds i did the same thing with the thumb button for my cut parachute and that's really it and i guess if you want to be cool like me or you know build a new habit for your play style i guess if you want to do a silent shot or pull a throwing knife out after you shoot your sniper this is where you can bind it to your second key to do it after you take that shot more often than none it gets me knocked but hey i figured i'd show it to you guys just so you had it now for the gameplay tab it's pretty self-explanatory i got automatic tax sprint my slide maintained sprint is on and the reason i have it on is because i guess it 
helps you with not dead sliding. Dead sliding is when you go to slide cancel or slide in general and you just crouch and you just look dumb. Now head on into movement advanced settings and you can actually set your walk speed. So of course, you know, naturally I'm gonna set it to fast. And then other than that, it's all default. And that's all we got for today's video. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to go down below, drop a big booty like and comment. I work really hard on these videos. And hey, if you're new, make sure to smash that subscribe button. But more importantly, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later guys.